I made a video recently where I test drove some AI lip sync tools and a lot of folks suggested that I check out Lemon Slice AI. It's an AI lip sync tool that used to be called Infinity. So let's take a look. I'll show you some things that I generated with Lemon Slice. I'll show you how it works and then we'll create something together. To create on Lemon Slice, you do need an account. You can sign in with Google, Discord, or your email. And then you do all your creating in the studio, which is where we'll be hanging out. In the studio, you've got three steps to a video, providing the image, the audio, and then the settings for the video that you want to create. We'll go through this in a little bit more detail, but for now, just know that there are some settings under this video panel, and I'll be showing you some comparisons of those where you have the model, the resolution, the style, whether you're animating the entire image, the face only, multiple face or auto select, and then the stability setting where you can go for more stable, more expressive, or something in the middle. Here I've got an old timey detective. For this one, I use the V2.5 model. I left the style on auto select and the stability at expressive. Sure, I could have been a cop, but I like my coffee with whiskey, not donuts. Using that same image and the audio, which I got from 11 Labs, I also tried that with the V2 model at the 400,000 pixels, auto select style, and expressive. And here's how that turned out. Sure, I could have been a cop, but I like my coffee with whiskey, not donuts. Definitely lots of issues there. I think the camera movement, it was trying to animate the whole scene. I set that on that auto select so it can sort of pick between the face or the whole scene or whatever. In this case, I think it was trying to add movement to the whole scene. It just didn't work out so good. And there was lots of morphing and just bad things going on. I think the 2.5 did a whole lot better. I also tried that with the 2.5 model and set the style to animate entire image and the stability at expressive. Sure, I could have been a cop, but I like my coffee with whiskey, not donuts. So that decided to animate his belly instead of his face. Now what I learned from that is version 2.5 is looking better than version 2. And also when you select that style setting of animate entire image, things can go a little crazy. In all fairness, Lemon Slice does say that that animate entire image setting is best used when you have a pretty zoomed in face and not a lot of other stuff in the scene. But selecting animate entire image doesn't always go bad. For instance, with this one on the couch using version 2.5, animate entire image and expressive stability. I was going to be productive today, but then the couch whispered my name. That one did just fine figuring out where the talking should be coming from and didn't make her belly do the talking. I use that same image and audio with auto select style, again with the stability on expressive, and here's how that turned out. I was going to be productive today, but then the couch whispered my name. So that did a lot better with the detail in her mouth and face, but of course there was less movement overall. Next I've got this 3D character, and I tried him with version 2 at the 400,000 pixels, auto select the style, and the stability on expressive. A little fresh air and some peace and quiet. This is all I need to feel recharged. So that made an attempt to animate the entire scene, it looks like, but it got kind of fuzzy and weird. I also tried that same image and audio, everything else the same, just switching the style from auto select to animate entire image. A little fresh air and some peace and quiet. This is all I need to feel recharged. I like what it was trying to do there, but our poor guy kept melting and that was just painful to watch. But I ran that again with version 2.5, left the style on auto select and set the stability at medium. A little fresh air and some peace and quiet. This is all I need to feel recharged. I was pretty happy with that one. The lip sync and the mouth movement, that all looked really clean. Of course, there wasn't much body movement or like trees swaying in the breeze in the background or anything like that. If I wanted to get some of that stuff going on, I feel like I'm on the right track with stick with version 2.5 and then maybe try turning the expressiveness up to expressive rather than medium or one of the other options for animating the scene. Now, Lemon Slice says it's not really made for pets or critters, but you can try it. And so, of course, I did. I've got this little pup at his food dish with version version 2.5, auto select the style and expressive setting on the stability. Hey, what's with the dry food? Where's the good stuff? We kind of got the idea of what was supposed to be going on there, but not great. So I tried that again with the stability set on medium instead of expressive. Hey, what's with the dry food? Where's the good stuff? That seemed to come out quite a bit better with the stability set on medium instead of expressive. I re-rolled that one with everything the same, including the stability set at medium. Hey. What's with the dry food? Where's the good stuff? That variation came out similar, maybe a little less teethy. I also tried this green or teal cat, I guess it is, with the 2.5 model, auto select the style and medium stability. I tolerate your presence because you feed me. Let's not make this weird. 
It did well moving his mouth, but I don't think the inside of his mouth should be this solid color, bright, light, teal color thing. So I changed the style to animate face only, left the stability on medium. I tolerate your presence because you feed me. Let's not make this weird. Well, that definitely got weird. That had his head moving inside his head and sort of talking from his chest, kinda. So I tried that, keeping everything the same except moving the stability to stable. I tolerate your presence because you feed me. Let's not make this weird. So that didn't work at all. I give the cat one more shot, auto select the style, stability set at medium. I tolerate your presence because you feed me. Let's not make this weird. So that really didn't lip sync at all, it just gave us a twitch and a couple of blinks. Then I've got this dog and his face is really filling the frame pretty well here. So I tried that one with version 2.5, animate face only and set the stability on stable. I see you have some cookies. Just so you know, I like cookies too. Here I tried him with the style on auto select and the stability on stable. I see you have some cookies. Just so you know, I like cookies too. And that one also gave him cartoon teeth back behind his tongue and where his mouth really isn't. I tried him with auto select style and the stability set on medium. I see you have some cookies. Just so you know, I like cookies too. And we got a nostril sync instead of a lip sync. I went ahead and tried him again with the style set on auto select and the stability on expressive. I see you have some cookies. Just so you know, I like cookies too. Definitely more expressive, but I'm not a fan of how he has some of his tongue is in front of his teeth and some of his tongue is behind his teeth and those cartoon teeth just aren't working. But like I said, Lemon Slice says that this isn't intended for pets or critters, but you can try it. To create an AI lip sync video on Lemon Slice, you want to be in the studio. That's this tab right up here. Then just follow these three steps, image, audio, and video. Now for image, you can either upload an image that you already have. You can create an image right here using text to image. Just type the prompt of what you want the image to look like, select your aspect ratio and have it generate the image by clicking this gen image button. They also have a character library. If you click on this tab, by default, it looks like it's TikTok girl, but we can click change character and they've got a collection of characters that you can scroll through and pick from. You can also add a new character. We'll come back to that in a minute, but once you've got a subject or character, whether you uploaded an image, used the character library, or did text to image to generate an image of a character, then you come over to audio. You can upload your own audio by clicking the button. You can use their text to speech by typing the script here and selecting one of their voices. Or you can click add new voice to create a voice clone. You can also use the voice changer. So you'll record what the character is going to say and then you'll pick a voice. So it'll be the speed and cadence and intonation that you have in the delivery of whatever you record. But it'll be in the voice, the tone of whoever you choose from the drop down. If you want to make your character sing, you can also use AI music. Just type in what you want your song to be about, like maybe a song about lemon slices and then click the generate song button. Once the song's generated, preview the audio with this play button up here and then trim it down to whatever section you actually want to use using these little handles. So the image and audio are what's coming together to make this video and then you've got the video settings in this panel. Paid users have the option of using the V2 model or the V2.5 model. Free users have the V2.5 model but not the V2. So you've got the new model not the old one. The next setting is the resolution for the V2.5 model. There's only one option there. Using the V2 model, you get some other options and it says the higher the resolution, the slower the generation and the more credits used. Next is the style selection. You have auto, animate entire image, animate face or animate multiple faces. And it gives us some tips here that animating the entire image is best for close-ups of the face. Animate face only is best for zoomed out images and animating multiple faces. All faces in the image will speak. You can have up to five and the option to animate multiple faces, all the characters in the image, all the faces that are going to be animated, they're all going to be saying everything that's said all at the same time. Let me show you so it makes more sense than me trying to explain it. I tried this image of Jimmy and Maria and a conversation like he's supposed to say something and then she's supposed to say something, but pay attention as it plays through. What are we even watching here? I don't know. Tammy said this movie was really good. So it's not separating out and assigning some of the audio to him and some of the audio to her. It's both of them are speaking everything all at the same time. So I guess that would be good for if you're doing like a sing along video or something like that, where you've got the characters singing to the AI music, that might be a good use for it. 
Then you have the stability setting. Expressive gets you more movement, but at the risk of potentially being unstable. Stable is less likely to have the morphing and weird things happen, but not going to be as expressive, obviously. For free users, you're going to get one variation at a time. If you have a paid subscription, you can generate multiple variations. It's going to use all the same settings and just give you a couple different variations. Let's come back over here to the image and we'll click change character and say add new character. We've got to give the character a name. I named it Bob. I'm going to drag in an image of me. If you don't have an image and you want to create a character from scratch from a text prompt, you could do that with this drop down by entering the prompt and generating the image. I'm going to go ahead and use me. Then it wants us to associate a voice with this character. We can either select something from their list of AI voices or we can add a new voice to do a voice clone. So let's give that a shot. We'll click add new voice. I'm going to name it Bob. The description's optional, so I'm going to leave that alone. And then it wants us to upload a 15 to 60 second audio sample. I happen to have such a thing here, so I'm just going to drag that in and drop it. And then we have to check the box that says we have all the rights and consent to use this voice, and that we won't use platform generated content for bad things. Click add voice, and then save my character. That drops us back to the characters page, go over to my characters, and look, there I am. Click on that. So it's got Bob as the character there. Over here on the audio, if I want to use script rather than uploading audio or voice changer or whatnot, if I'm using text to speech, it looks like it's calling that custom actor voice instead of Bob, which is okay. I don't see anything else in there unless I'm staring at it that would be Bob. So let's just go with that. What do we want our character to say? I'll paste in something here. Now we need to generate this audio before we go generate our video. We need to have the audio ready. We'll click Gen Audio. Now I can preview the audio up here with this play button. I'm an AI character created in Lemon Slice using an image of Bob and a clone of Bob's voice. This clip is a short test to see how I turned out. Okay, not bad. A little fast, I think, but, you know, has some similarities to my voice. We could regenerate that again to get something different. Or, like I mentioned before, you've got these little trim handles. If whatever audio you bring in, whether it's the AI music or a script that you generate speech from, or you use the voice changer or you upload audio, it doesn't matter. However you get the audio in here, you can use these little trim handles if you only want a section of what you uploaded and not the whole thing. Over in the video panel, I'm going to leave the model on 2.5. Nothing to change on the resolution. We've only got the one option for the 2.5 model. For the style, I'm going to leave that on auto select. And for expressive to stable, let's go medium and click generate video. While we're at it, let's do an expressive and generate video. The first variation of the Bob character with the Bob voice clone is ready to go. This is the one where we did the auto select style stability set on medium. I'm an AI character created in Lemon Slice using an image of Bob and a clone of Bob's voice. This clip is a short test to see how I turned out. And here's the variation where we just changed the stability to expressive. I'm an AI character created in Lemon Slice using an image of Bob and a clone of Bob's voice. This clip is a short test to see how I turned out. I definitely like the expressive version of that better. Let's try to run it again with expressive, but instead of auto select style, let's say animate face only and see how it does. I'm an AI character created in Lemon Slice using an image of Bob and a clone of Bob's voice. This clip is a short test to see how I turned out. So that combination of expressive and animate face only turned out pretty well. I'm not an expert in Lemon Slice, but I'm trying to show you what I'm getting with changing some of these settings so that maybe it'll save you some time and narrowing in on things that you want to try. It seems like finding the right combo of those settings and the character image you're using does have a pretty big impact on the results you get. Something else we can do here is restyle using character reference. So we're going to use this character, but we could come down here and give it a different style. The example they give is 3D Pixar style cartoon in a field of flowers. You can also roll the dice and let's see, sitting in an airplane, in a desert, in a field of flowers, professional headshot. So let's try that. We'll do 3D Pixar style cartoon sitting in an airplane. Now leave that aspect ratio on square and restyle. I'm not sure how close that is to my original character. Maybe we'll take out the sitting in an airplane and just try and actually change the style instead of the setting. I'll let you be the judge of whether that looks like me or not. Let's come over to the video settings, auto select style. Let's try expressive and generate. I'm an AI character created in Lemon Slice using an image of Bob and a clone of Bob's voice. This clip is a short test to see how I turned out. 
I like the little smile there at the end. Still not convinced this is an accurate likeness of me, but maybe I'm just not seeing it. Now, as far as what Lemon Slice costs, they do have a free tier, 60 free monthly credits, which is a minute of video, 10 second max video length, and one video generation at a time. You only get access to the 2.5 model, which is looking a lot better than the things I'm getting from version two, so I'd be totally okay with that. You don't get voice cloning, you don't get the voice changer, your downloads will have a watermark, and commercial use is prohibited. The standard plan for $8 a month, that's what I got. That's 1,200 credits per month or about 20 minutes of total video. Instead of a 10 second max video length, you can go up to a minute. You can have six concurrent generations. You do get access to that V2 as well as the new V2.5. And you can have up to five voice clones, the voice changer, download without watermarks, and commercial use is okay. The plus plan gives you more credits, more voice clones. If you want to make videos that are longer than a minute, then you'll be looking at the professional or premium plans that of course come with a lot more credits and a lot more voice clones, but also you can go up to a five minute max video length. So that's what I got on Lemon Slice, the AI lip sync tool. I hope you found this helpful or at least amusing. I appreciate you hanging out with me and I hope you'll come back and see me in another video.